Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I've got no makeup on because today we're doing a chatty get ready with me. We're just going to dive into everything that's currently going on in my life at the moment. Um, just some things I haven't had the chance to delve deeper into on my other social platforms. And I've got to get ready today because I've got to shoot some photos um, for our Shu, who I work with and who I love. So yeah, let's jump into it. I'm just going to do the most basic everyday makeup look of my life. I have really no idea what I'm doing with makeup. To be honest, I really need new brushes. Like I have like two brushes. It's actually embarrassing. But anyway, I... Yeah, I've got to shoot these videos for Pashu today. Well, some videos and some photos. Personally, Photos are like extremely out of my comfort zone when I'm not in control of the camera because I'll oh, just be honest guys and I don't think I've really spoke too much about this I don't think but I am so incredibly self-conscious I don't think I've ever well that's like not ever but Especially I noticed this on YouTube and maybe that's just because the camera's flipped when I film it But like I've never watched YouTube back of myself and thought wow you look really nice Like it's actually a bit of a struggle for me sometimes in all of the social media I create to jump on and talk to camera um, Also, I don't know if you can see that I've just covered up a bruise because Jack accidentally like elbowed me in the face last night He did feel really bad in the pool dress um, But yeah, I just feel so insecure and I just don't like the fact of re-watching that video and, and looking back at it and having something negative to say about myself and I find that the best way for me to not beat myself up and do that is to not do it but that has then limitations on my career so I have to put on a brave face, put on my big girl pants and speak kindly to myself because you know it's not that bad yeah I'm not a bloody model and I think um, I've realised now I don't really actually want to do any more modeling jobs unless it doesn't involve me my face being in them because I had a couple of modeling jobs last year one for Pursue and they were lovely and one for another fitness brand and it was my first time like doing something like ecom and I'm just I'm not a model guys I really don't know what to do with my face and I left um I left that the, the one for the other fitness brand was first and the push you one was second and I left the first one thinking I I don't know if I can do this second shoot like it was truly awful I felt so ugly I didn't like the way they did my hair I didn't like they did the way they, the way they did my makeup um I they were mean to me like they barely spoke a word to me and like the thing with me is if I get good energy with someone I'll be able to give good energy back like I can read a room really well so if I feel like you're you're making me feel comfortable I feel like you um kind of like me or or at least making an, an effort I then feel more comfortable to be myself and I think I open up but I think what happened there is like I had to eat lunch by myself like no one came over and said if I was okay like I traveled quite a long way to be there I don't know it just wasn't the vibes however when I went for the Pursue Fitness they let me kind of they did make me do a little bit of modeling stuff like actual like posy um but they did then just want me to be a little bit more creative and do like the flips and stuff but both of those experiences no even though like the Pursue one was lovely had really big impacts on my confidence moving forward and it's just not nice for me to I feel like I kind of get myself to a point where I feel quite confident and then it just like gets teared teared down and I can be really really mean to myself and it's just not worth it like it's really just not worth it so anyway I've gone off on a big <laughs> big tangent over there but yeah I think I definitely have been struggling with doing kind of more camera facing content and when I am doing it I'm trying not to place as much emphasis on kind of like what I look like because I know I could be mean to myself but I said I'd take these photos for them and they've been really lovely in the sense that if I I can just kind of send it over to them for them to post if I don't feel comfortable kind of putting that on my own feed and honestly I've loved working with Pursue. I obviously haven't really worked with too many brands since my contract with Under Armour ended mostly because they didn't want to work with me and so they Pursue kind of really 
reached out to me and I have a really great working relationship with them. I genuinely love their stuff. I don't know if you have a look on any of my other socials, but I'm always wearing their set, specifically Scrunch Seamless. And today I'm kind of taking some photos and filming some content in the two new colours they've got coming up. And I just feel like this contract as a whole has really helped me with my confidence in working with brands again and having the confidence that brands do still want to work with me, even though I am in a little bit more of like a niche in terms of you know what I create and the way I create but I've gone back and forwards over you know how I display my content and the thing is I I can only be me there's this real mix of the content I want to be able to create that merges coaching merges me merges I don't know the way I love to train but pursued let me be me and yeah that really means a lot um to me to be honest and it's I've enjoyed finding confidence in my body wearing their clothes UA was really heavily performance based which is great and I loved it however these are more although they're also great for performance I they're designed to like look cute so they have like scrunch bums and like a flat room back and stuff which is nice for me to be able to enjoy my body and like what it looks like in gym clothes because again it's another pretty big um, insecurity of mine to be honest. So I mean content is going okay. I think um, obviously being a creator is just one part of my job and I definitely am finding it's quite difficult to balance being a creator for social media whether that includes um, YouTube, TikTok and Instagram and then creating for the app, filming for the app, writing new programs for my clients. I think that I haven't quite worked out a perfect way to navigate that all throughout my week. However, I am navigating it and I'm really, really proud of myself for how I'm doing that because I am a one woman show. It's literally me doing everything um, because I literally can't afford to hire anyone else. And I feel like that's a really big misconception. I feel like people, I don't know if people think I'm doing well or not, but like, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not definitely not breaking it in, you know? I'm like just about barely getting by each month. Um, especially now I'm like trying to put quite a hefty bit of money away to save. So it's trying to think about the different ways I can grow each aspect of the business and how I dedicate enough time to each aspect of the business over the week but I think I also have to give myself some credit in the fact that you know I'm doing the best I can given the situation that I'm in and yes sometimes I don't structure my time the best sometimes I focus on the wrong thing but I do just generally think that's a natural way of owning and growing a business and I have to also remember like my business has paid me pretty much most months for the last three years so that is not something to not be proud of it's just it is slower growing than I would hope for it to be but I've come to terms with the fact that slow growth isn't necessarily a bad thing because I feel like it's growing at a stage that I can manage it so I can grow my online coaching business and it stays manageable so that I can give all of my clients the, the time and attention and you know specific detail that they need whilst growing the app and being able to focus more on that side um whilst also managing to create and grow socials but sometimes I feel like all of these different things are pulling me in lots of different directions and I can't quite figure out what I'm doing I feel like lately I've definitely been failing on social media and feeling like people just don't really care but I also have to remember that I've been on social media for eight years and there have been times in that eight years where people supported me really strongly and there have also been periods where they haven't can sometimes take it quite personally and feeling like you know maybe these people don't like me or what what can I do to make these people like me and it's kind of like well does it matter if they like you or does it matter if you are a good person you're staying true to yourself you're authentic you put out content you love you put out content and services that genuinely help people and the right people will find that and I'm like okay that's actually what matters and the people that do watch my videos 
I don't think you realise how much it really helps me out. It's always easy to go onto socials and feel like you aren't doing enough or you're not doing what people like or, you know, you're doing something wrong, people hate you. I don't know, these are all things and conversations that I have behind the scenes, to be honest. Um, and I try not to let them come too far to the forefront on, on all of my socials. And But, you know, naturally I'm quite an honest, open book. And when I feel frustration, I kind of want to share that. I remember, like, not too long ago, someone was like, you're so negative. And I really took it to heart. And it's like, I'm never trying to be negative. It's just that that this is just my experience this is the real raw emotion of what I'm going through at the time and you know as a business owner is trying to share that kind of like process it did get to the point that the other day I was like considering talking about <laughs> it's really hard to talk and do this um I was considering talking about an experience a not so great experience I had with a brand I worked with back in 2019 um and also experience I've currently got going on with a brand that's kind of like refusing to pay me. And then I just thought, you know, what are we going to gain from this situation? What are you going to gain? Maybe some views. But like, is it you? And I was like, no, it's not you. You know, we can handle these things privately. I think what was just happening is I was like, I felt like I was being ignored. And I feel like I had a terrible experience. And... the anger that that brought up in me made me want to kind of share that story and I thought you know what but you know for a short-term gain it's probably going to make you feel much worse and yeah you have been wronged but also is that going to solve the issue maybe not maybe I'll get paid if I actually spoke about it publicly but you know I think it's social media can really get to you sometimes and make you question who you are and especially when you've done it for as long as me staying true to yourself and not being a sellout which I haven't I'm very proud of that it's so hard it's so so hard and I think I think I'm really proud of myself when I sit there and think about it and I think you have never been a soul that you've stayed true to yourself and I don't know if any of you've seen that quote and says like you know it's sometimes it's taking you longer because you're not willing to do those things and then I remember I sat down I was thinking okay but most of these people that you talk to that are massively successful they don't do everything by the book they throw people under the bus they do this they do that but I don't know I don't think that feels very authentic to who I am and if I can't build a business just by being good at what I do and being myself then I mean I'm not sure. I actually think if I had done that and I tried to make a business off of not being authentically me, lying to people, trying to make money in the fastest way possible, my business would not have survived the last four years. Facts. But I feel like the fact that I have done this by being so open and always putting, you know, my clients and those people first and always holding my hands up when I don't know everything and maybe taking a slightly slower route I think is what's made my business survive and when I'm struggling with the business and when I'm wondering whether it's worth it those are the moments that I have to remember it's like everything is actually working out if I zoom out and I think of the big picture you know I grew this online coaching business from scratch and I've grown the app from scratch and I've made such big risks and there's so much value in it. But I'm just usually my biggest critic and I feel like I do suffer a lot with that and am suffering a lot with that on a daily basis. But also, you know, trying my best. Also, I feel like the really special thing is that there's only one you. There is literally only one you. So whenever I question, oh, maybe I shouldn't be myself and do these things like get ready with me's and try-ons and training vlogs and then try and push this kind of educator but at the end of the day that is me I am someone who really knows what they're talking about makes a conscious effort to continue to learn but I'm also having this learning experience and I think it's been very important I've I've held myself to such high standards my whole life about always having to be correct and it's like I don't have to be correct all the time I can show these kind of multifaceted sides of myself and 
every time I start to doubt myself, I try to remember that. And maybe saying it in this video, if I ever doubt myself, I'm going to come back and watch this bloody bed. Um, but anyway, my makeup is done. I obviously have some filming and shooting to do. I'm sorry if I went off on massive tangents during this. I forgot to write myself a notes list and that's what happens when I don't do that. I spew ball and I get carried away. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next vid.